media and caustic artist behind Studio Stacy. Welcome to this week's vlog. I thought it would be fun to show you what a typical work week looks like. Good morning. Happy Monday. Start of a, another week. We are starting week 12. Week 12 this week. Crazy. Anyways, week 12 of painting your view and I've got a of course, primed white panel to work on. And I'm probably gonna do, I'm thinking I'm gonna do a um, quick underpainting, a quick uh, sketch with this. So um, see how this goes, week 12. And through the magic of video, that underpainting is now dry. So I'm applying several layers of the clear and caustic medium. And you can see here, I'm almost out of that medium. So I add in a, another brick of it. And this is what it looks like when it's in the solid form. And then it just melts down into this clear liquid. Up next, I am just mixing several colors of blue onto my palette, which is of course is my griddle here that is heated to about 150 degrees. And then I start typically with the background area and work towards the foreground. And that way, anything that I put above the background looks like it is supposed to be there and the perspective is correct, if that makes sense. So I'll um, click on some music here and you can sit back and watch me paint. Enjoy! <laughs> not sure if you could tell in that time lapse, but this painting is at the ugly, not so pretty, hot mess type of phase. <laughs> um, and I promise it will get better. So I'm going to work on this about another hour tonight. I have to go make some dinner, so I'm going to work for a little bit longer. Um, I don't think it'll probably improve too much tonight, but stick with me. Tomorrow's another day and it will get better. These are the lessons that art can teach you. It will get better. All right, let's see where it goes tonight though. guys I think this is where I'm gonna call this painting for tonight still not really pretty I just got a little bit more of the green done and tomorrow the plan is to put some of the trees in and some more details I have a meeting tomorrow too so I'm not sure how far I'll get um, it's just an online meeting, but hopefully um, I'll get a little of this done before the meeting. Good morning, guys. Um, getting a little bit later start than what I wanted to because I'm dealing with this. For the past, I don't know, maybe week or so, 
I keep popping fuses in the studio and it hasn't happened before so I've switched out extension cords and took the plug out from the floor to see if it looked like it was damaged or something. It looks fine so I have no idea why it's doing that but it's frustrating because um, I need obviously electricity to plug the um, griddles and things in to melt the encaustic wax. So like I said, getting a little bit later start. I so far, nothing has popped again. It could be the extension cord um, that I was using maybe wasn't thick enough, although it's strange because it hasn't happened before. So um, just kind of started happening. It could also be that I have old griddles and um you know the stuff isn't meant to be on probably for eight hours or so a day every day <laughs> um but anyways we're gonna get started painting and hopefully i can get a few things done on this painting before i have to stop and head to a or rather it's a virtual meeting i'm not headed anywhere but stop and have um my meeting that i'm having so anyways let's see where we go so you can see I'm working on the trees and this meadow area here and I'm starting out adding in some white to the meadow and just really building up a lot of the uh, texture that I want down there and then also using a scraper to scrape off if I get too much on kind of going back and forth between adding it in and scraping it off. So I um, just noticed that my camera battery just died. Uh, well, not just died, died a little bit ago. And I lost some um, footage of putting some green on the meadow grass area of this painting. So I'll show you, or rather I will finish doing some of that. I have about a half hour-ish left to um, have time to work on this. And I'm not sure if I'll pick it back up again this afternoon or um, work on a few other things. So we'll see how it goes. But sorry for the last footage. That's what I jumped on here to say. Sorry for the last footage. Good morning, guys. Um, yesterday I did not get back to the painting. Um, I did a bunch of computer work and then um, we drove out to my dad's and it's always nice to kind of go back to like a little bit where you grew up and you know it's kind of fun to see everything still and you know all that good stuff. And so this morning I am back in the studio. I'm hoping to get a almost get this painting finished if not finished today. Um, and then spend the next couple days working on these, this video and um, all that good stuff. So let's see where the day goes. All right, if you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I'm a big fan of these Durant Inktense pencils and I use them a lot. So I thought I would just kind of show you, oh sorry, that didn't focus right away, there we go. I am sitting on the computer and I'm just sketching out those purple flowers. Not sure what they're called. You guys know what their name is. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. I'm just sketching them out onto um, the panel down here. And that way it's easier to scrape off this pencil before um, I put any wax down. Like if I change my mind about where I want one of these flowers and it's just easier to scrape off the pencil than the wax. So now I'll head back over to my workspace and do the wax. I decided that the water area of this painting needed something else to it. It was just kind of blah. So I mix some shellac with some dried pigment and then I put that down on the painting and you can see it makes this veiny 
kind of cell-ish look area. And then I cover us some more up with the um, encaustic wax and just kind of work back and forth between the shellac and the wax and the torch. And then I also scrape some back and forth. And as you can see, it really just kind of pops that area out and just, it's not so bland. All right, guys, I do believe this one is done. I made a lot of teeny tiny little changes, like I filled in um, some of this tree area, and then um, you saw me do the um, shellac over the water, and I went back in several different times with the shellac and then um, the paint for the water, caustic paint and then scrape back some layers and you know all that jazz and then uh, here are the close-ups of some of the flowers down here and I just added in some more little dimension and some more texture lots and lots and lots of layers and texture on this piece but I do believe it is done. I also defined um, some of the mountain area. Hopefully, there we go, that's focusing better now. Added some browns and some darker blues in there just to give it a little bit more definition from the water. So there you have it. Tomorrow is going to be a computer day and probably Friday too, but we'll see how this goes. So I'm going to call it quits in the um, studio today. Going to get a few more things done before it's time to make dinner. And I will pick you guys back up in the morning. Probably for, like I said, a lot of computer stuff. But we'll see. Maybe I'll do something creative too. Good morning, guys. Sitting at the computer today and working on um, videos and such. So, um... Last night we took a, a quick walk outside, which was great because the sun was out and today it's rather cloudy and it's supposed to rain. So I'm glad we got out yesterday. But um, I thought I'd flip the camera around and just show you the program that I use in case you're interested in uh, what I use for video editing. So I use a program called Shotcut. This was actually, by the time you see this, will be last week's video, but I am just editing um, this week's video here. And um, yeah, so I just, I use a program called, like I said, Shotcut, and it's a free program and it's great. Uh, does basically everything I need it to do for right now. still on the computer <laughs> and I'm going to be calling it quit soon but I'm going to export this video and that always takes quite a bit of time so while I do that I thought I would take the tape off of the sides of this painting and I'll show you how I do that and then I might call this video quits for this week um, I know there's a, still a whole nother work day tomorrow Friday but I'm gonna be on the computer again editing this current video and there's just not much to film when I do that and it would be probably rather boring for you guys to sit here and watch me edit a video. So I think I will call it good for this week and yeah. But first I will, I will take the tape off of the painting. You can watch me do that. So don't mind that mess of the extension cords on the floor, but first I take and heat up real lightly the edges of the painting and then I take a little scraper and I scrape off any excess wax drips and such if I just were to rip the tape off it would rip the wax and kind of peel it away from the painting as well and I don't want that to happen even though everything is fused if you start to dig in and rip layers away you can do that so after everything is nice and evenly scraped off and nice and neat, I can peel the tape back 
and voila, you have a nice finished edge. And of course, prior to putting the tape on, I paint it with a nice neutral brown color that should go with everybody's walls. And there you go. Nice finished edges. Good morning, guys. Um, I am up early and I'm going to make some soup um, for dinner tonight. And so I thought I would show you our favorite vegan faux soup. Um, it's really good and it's got like a ton of vegetables and nutrients in it. And we are actually going to get our second vaccine this morning. So I thought I'd have a pot of soup ready to go for tonight and the weekend. Happy Friday, by the way. All of this plus these yummy spices are going into this pot. The recipe is from Pick Up Limes, L-I-M-E-S. I will put the link in the description below because it is yummy. <laughs> we got vaccinated. Second shot. Yay. Woohoo. Here is what the yummy broth looks like after you strain everything out of it. And I wish you could smell through video because it smells really good in here about now. All right, here we go. Vegan faux. Ooh, yum, look at that steam. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Just what the doctor ordered. Thanks so much for coming along. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did and wouldn't mind giving me a great big thumbs up, that would be very much appreciated. If you aren't subscribed and would consider doing so, that would also be appreciated. And if you are subscribed but are not getting notified every time I release a new video, if you hit that bell down there, that will send you a notification. So again, thanks so much for coming along. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you sometime next week. Bye for now. Bye.